It's really important to pick personal care products like lotions, facial products, makeup, deodorants that are clean and free of hormone disruptors. There are big sources of phthalates and parabens. Although both those substances are eliminated fairly quickly from the body, the problem is we apply these things daily. So the body's constantly resupplied with them and they're always there. The personal care industry isn't much interested in eliminating them from their products for financial reasons. So your best defense is what we call precautionary consumption or green shopping. And don't count on the government to protect you. Let me tell you what happened in 2011 when a product called Brazilian Blowout was first introduced on the market for hair straightening, salon workers started getting sick. FDA determined it contained methylene glycol released as formaldehyde when it's heated up during the flat iron and blow drying stage. As a known cancer causing agent, that should have been on the label with a warning. So FDA issued a warning and recommended a voluntary recall. The company promised to remove the ingredient and soon falsely labeled the product as formaldehyde free. They finally settled a $4.5 million class action lawsuit in California, but they were still allowed to sell the product as long as they labeled the presence of formaldehyde with a warning. Point is, FDA could not force them to change the formula or stop selling the product. This still goes on today. Here's what you do. You've got to find out what's in these products. Fortunately, there are apps out there to help you. The one I run all my products through is called Yuka. Y-U-K-A. With the free version, you can scan the barcode of almost any personal care product and give it a ranking of 1 to 100. 100 being best. This will make you really smart.